Okay, everybody. So yesterday, I just finished wiring my new or my used horse trailer that I got the other day. Um, just do a quick walk around of it, show everybody what I got. I know it's pretty dark, so it's kind of hard to tell what's going on. But I'll narrate it for you. So I've got side lights on the side that's the truck right get my finger in that spot that's the truck that i just covered up thing else is the trailer so i've got two tail lights i've got the top lights um side marker lights even a license plate light side marker lights i've even got the top light on the front as you can see that looks pretty sharp in the dark I'll hit the uh, turn signal and I bought one of the uh, three function side marker lights for the sides that uh, are turn signals also so I like people coming on beside me to know got a turn light there uh, came out last night to do this video while I was feeding my horse and um, I had left the light on showing dad I had left the key on and the running lights were running and um so that meant that yeah it was a pain in the rear end because the, the battery was dead so tonight i'm doing got a right turn here got a turn there now then let's see if i can do this break this is going to be very interesting um bar this for a second turn that off uh, then maybe I can get that to sit in there. There we go. Okay. Um, I will tell you these side lights right here, these yellow ones, since they are three function, they do have a break on them too, which is okay. Um, because they still function as tail, as a, yeah, side marker lights. But just to give you an idea, everything's working. My brake lights on the back are working and on the side, everything's working. The next step, let me pull this off the brake real quick, and you can watch this side light right here. Maybe if I can keep my arm out far enough. Um, I'll grab my flashlight and I'll show you on the inside what I'm going to do. Um, back here at the back, I'm going to replace this light. I've got another light to use instead I'm going to replace this light with a little round one and it's got these two outside lights probably gonna put that one farther down here a little bit like maybe right over that brace I've got some uh, good LED out outside lights that are pretty bright that I'm gonna put out here um, and I'm just gonna replace that one probably keep that same spot and then I'm also going to take input. Um, I'm going to put one of those inside lights right here in front of this neck. And then I'm going to put one down there where that one is. I'm going to put another one. Now the way this switch is right now, I've got a switch here. Um, I'm going to take this switch and repurpose it, reuse it. I'm going to, see it's coming out right there. I'm going to take it and come out right here on the side and then I'm going to put another one next to it and the, what I'm going to do is um, right now they're not working. Some of those lights inside do work but um, they're hooked up to the auxiliary power on the truck and the prongs missing on the plug on the truck so I've got to replace that. But um, I wanted it on auxiliary because before it was just wired in the tail lights because all it had was a four flat connector on it. And um, I wanted it on the auxiliary so I didn't have to have the headlights on. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I've bought another switch to go for my other lights. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use that switch that's on there probably to control my outside lights and use the other one to control my inside lights because when I'm going down the road, and each one of the lights has its own switch, but when I'm going down the road, I want to be able to leave one light on inside for it my horse so that he doesn't get all freaked out 
and it's not a super bright light so it's not like it's going to cause any problems but i'm going to leave that light on inside probably the one in the middle that's on the inside leave it on and then these other two the one up here in the in the front inside and the one in the back inside are just going to be for loading because i'm going to put my saddles and my tack and all that up here in this neck and um but yeah just kind of give you a good idea of what she looks like she needs a paint job that'll be my next project i'll probably i didn't take any before and after pictures of the um uh lights but because i forgot and i already started but i will when i go to paint it real quick i want to see what size tires these or what size rims these are um 15s okay um yeah it's got a butterfly gate on it with the slide latch um i'll have to put new reflective tape on it and all that when i get it repainted but my my light brackets um just a piece of quarter inch diamond that's my favorite thing to work with a piece of angle iron welded on there same thing over here my license plate bracket and um all my lights and wiring and all and uh yeah just give you an idea of what the trailer looks like um so yeah you can tell that light's dimmer now since the brake's not on um it's got a pretty good jack jack doesn't have a spring in it though and i wish it did because that's really nice sometimes but i rewired it and the original wires it or i don't know if they're original but the ones that were on it when i bought it uh, it was just a four blade like I said so those wires like that went all the way but they went all the way up there and the thing is is the plugs on our trucks this one right here is at the very back of the truck and the one on dad's truck is over at the side of the truck he's got a, a single axle truck so it's in the bed um, in my truck I haven't put a gooseneck in it yet but mine will probably be the side too and um, so I didn't want to do that because that's wasting a lot of cord to go up there to have to come back to here. So um, I just came up to this part and uh, did that. And I will tell you, let's see that green wire coming right up there. That straight wire right there is my uh, power to my interior lights going to my switch right now. And uh, anyway, but I will tell you, I bought a Hopkins um, seven-way rv plug from northern thinking it was going to be so easy because it was just a it was a pigtail like a seven foot pigtail and all i had to do was just bring it back here um, plug in all my wire colors and be good well it was supposed to be that easy um but it wasn't i kept having problems um all i had going were a few lights went to test them just uh twisted the ends together and i had a bunch of screw volley mess so um turns out the uh plug it had a molded plug built onto it so i cut the end off and just we had a spare plug laying around that i just put on there and uh turns out that out of a seven way plug only three of the colors in there were in the right spot on the prongs so um yeah i wasn't too happy about that because it was a very expensive uh piece but i got it to work so um but yeah i cut the plug down because it was molded i used my pocket knife and whittled it down until i got down to where the wires go into the metal prongs and uh discovered that uh the tail light and the right turn signal wires were switched the uh reverse and the left turn wires were switched so yeah that was really weird and really annoying but anyway yeah I made a serial number plate for it just out of a piece of metal and a welder and so uh yeah i'll probably take my brand put my i'll probably put my ranch name right up here maybe my brand right there but my ranch name will probably be here my brand right there uh maybe my name over there i'm gonna put my brand real big right here maybe put my ranch name underneath it but for sure my brand real big right there and then it'll all be the same thing over on the other side and then this room right here i said like i say i may put my put my name on there may not um but that other side i got to deal with the doors so i got to figure out how to make it all match 
but uh, my paint paint job is next um, I'm either gonna go with a gray or go with a, a green color that I can get from the shop for cheaper uh, but it's Sherwin Williams paints so it's pretty good paint but um, so yeah that's my that's my new wiring and um, hope y'all enjoy the video like I said like I always say like share comment don't hate and uh, one other thing that I'm going to do in this trailer this is a 19 foot bed in this trailer one thing that I am going to do is it's got this one center cut gate right here probably one thing that I will do is uh, I'm gonna take this cut gate right here and I'm gonna move it over to that brace right there um, and then I'm gonna make another one that will go onto this brace and I think I can do that and make it work. I still got to do some measurements and all, and and uh, make sure. But I think I can do that. Put it, put a cut gate right here, and a cut gate right here. If anything, I may have to scoot up and put a brace in right up, kind of in between those two braces, and then do the same thing right here between these two braces. But I do want two cut gates because there's times when I'm hauling for me. Um, my dad and my grandfather hauling cows and it's nice to be able to section them off and say this needs to go on this ticket this needs to go on this ticket and this needs to go on its ticket and um get them all separated out because uh yeah it's a pain if you don't take them to the sale barn but anyway i'll probably use the same latching mechanism and all that on it but anyway that's just a few things like i say like share comment don't hate um if y'all have any requests for videos, anything you see around the place that you'd like to know more about that uh, is not like stalking or anything like that, be sure to let me know and I will try to do my best to do it. And uh, this is Wesley Rudd saying good day and good night and uh, have a happy new year.